we're here today because Enbridge is partnered with uh, the Saugeen Valley Conservation Authority and the Lake Huron Centre for Coastal Conservation on a number of projects here at the Brucedale Conservation Area. Brucedale Conservation Area is a part of the wetland complex that exists here on the shoreline from McGregor Point Provincial Park all the way down to Bay de Dor, just north of the Bruce Power Plant. It's one very large wetland complex and it's what we call a coastal fringe wetland. This is a system that provides very rare habitat to local wildlife and what we're seeing unfortunately in this coastal wetland complex is invasive Phragmites has taken a very dominant foothold in the wetlands. Phragmites is a prolific invader. It has several characteristics that makes the plant incredibly invasive. It's uh, aleopathic, first of all, so the roots exude a chemical toxin into the surrounding soil, and that will break down the structural proteins of a neighboring plant and allow the Phragmites to very much spread and dominate an area. The rhizomatic root network is so deep in the ground that it can actually change the way the water is flowing through the system and alter of available nutrients and water for other native plants, therefore giving it an, an additional competitive edge. When we started looking at what projects we could support, uh, we did talk with some folks at the, the uh, municipality and Phragmite is a significant problem they have all along the lake here on coastline. Um, it's something that the municipality is, is doing some work on, so Enbridge was happy that we could, we could partner with them, with the, with the Conservation Authority and the Lake Huron Center for Coastal Conservation to take a piece of the, of the coastline here and, and reclaim it to eliminate the Phragmite and, and get it back under control. First time I saw the Phragmites in the municipality of King Carden was when I was a director with Saugeen Valley and we went up to the Brucedale site because it belongs to Saugeen Valley and I thought, oh my goodness, how are they ever going to get that much Phragmites under control in the municipality of King Carden? A big chunk of it is around education. Um, so we have a group of school kids that are here today uh, who are learning about uh, species, animals, reptiles, critters they can find in the water, as well as learning about the importance of wetlands and the role that they play in our, in our habitats and in our environment. We're looking at doing education not only with the school kids, but also with some of the, the, uh, the people that enjoy camping here, uh, to teach them about the importance of maintaining the habitat, uh, maintaining, you know, eliminating the Phragmite. And there's things that they can do um, to help support keeping the beach clean, uh, making sure that the, the wildlife is protected so that when the Phragmite is removed, that wildlife that we're hoping to come back can come back to a, a great habitat where they can you know, thrive and prosper. Without controlling or attempting to manage the plant, it really can take over an entire area. This plant, Phragmites, can establish densities of up to 200 stems per meter square, which becomes nearly impossible for any wildlife to use the area anymore. The project here is a five-year commitment, uh, so it's $20,000 a year for a total of $100,000. Um, the first step of it is going to be trying to deal with the Phragmite. Um, and when we, when we progress beyond that, then we're going to look into improving the habitat immediately along the beach as well as further in the conservation area. Coastal wetlands are important for water quality, biological diversity, all sorts of things. And we have them right here. Some of them are prov provincially significant and some are uh, globally rare. Confident we're going to restore our beautiful coastline and keep our beautiful coastline in the municipality of King Carden, keep it free of Phragmites or the Phragmites under control. But we have to be vigilant and we need everybody's help. We've done a lot of work in the past with various social and cultural activities, uh, but we did want it, we really wanted to find uh, some partners that we could work with on projects that would have a longer lasting impact and be beneficial to the environment that we're operating in. Um, it dovetails very well with, with the mandate that, that our green power group has to produce clean renewable energy. 